nausea. And it's crazy because when I last spoke with you guys, I told you guys, okay, I'm not experiencing anything, you know, I don't feel pregnant, but it's definitely caught up. Um, there's a lot of things that I really can't eat. <clears throat> um, but olives have been like really good to me. Um, yeah, so anyways, I am about to go to my first prenatal appointment. Now I feel a lot confident. I, I definitely feel confident, but I'm just a little nervous. Like it's definitely something to be nervous about. Um, but I'm going to try to film in there. And if I can't, then I'll just kind of like keep the audio on or something. Um, to let you guys know like what happens in your first prenatal appointment because I really don't have any type of clue. The very first time <clears throat> I was pregnant, um, I went to one of those, they just kind of did blood work and she did a quick little ultrasound and that's when I saw the heartbeat and the heartbeat was only 82 beats per minute and it was really loud. Um, to let you guys know like what happens in your first prenatal appointment because I really don't have any type of clue. The very first time <clears throat> I was pregnant, um, I went to one of those, they just kind of did blood work and she did a quick little ultrasound and that's when I saw the heartbeat and the heartbeat was only 82 beats per minute and it was really low, but I just knew. You know, and I wasn't really having no symptoms. All my symptoms went away. But this morning, I am definitely having some symptoms. I am feeling sick. I threw up this morning. Um, yeah. So, anyways, bye guys. What is the eight minutes? <laughs> So in four weeks, we will do another scan and see if it's grown, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I never had fibroids before. Fibroids grow a lot when you're pregnant. Uh, they grow a lot. So they, before you're pregnant, it might have been one centimeter, uh -huh. uh, you know, a month ago. And then the month, it might be bigger than that. Mm -hmm. As long as it doesn't get huge, it doesn't usually bother us. Okay. Fibroids, if they get too big, they can cause premature labor, premature okay. labor okay. and pain. Um, Tylenol is the best thing for headaches. Mm -hmm. Is there okay. any way you guys can test, like, my, uh, your, are you going to test uh, HCG levels or no? Because you don't need to, like, no? no? Okay. So, can you do, like, progesterone removals? Because I heard, like, that was, like, You've a, a lot of reading, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe that was, like, the reason for the prior miscarriage, and so I don't know. How do you do progesterone levels? Yes. The um, I usually do progesterone levels if you're older, th over 35, okay. or if you're bleeding. 
Okay. Okay. But if you want me to, I could add that with your tests. Yes. Things yes. like that. Um, but you don't need an HCG level because we see a baby. Okay. Okay. Yes. yes. That was just before we can see a baby. Okay. We do those. All right. So we're going to get a whole bunch of blood tests today. And